Okay, today we will be making stuffed croissants. You will need chicken, shredded cheese, and these are your spices. Now, I have this one to the side because I'm going to make mine spicy, and my daughter and granddaughters will not be spicy. So, the other seasons that I'll be using is garlic salt, paprika, parsley, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, cream of mushroom, and of course the croissants. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is cook your chicken. You can boil it. You can have shredded chicken already from a crock pot. Um, cook it however you want to. The key thing is to get it chopped up. So I will be back after I get my meat done. And I do not season it yet because I'm going to drain all this liquid off that you see. See all that? I don't want to be draining my seasoning off. So I will be back once my meat drained off that excessiveness. And so now I am adding my seasoning, that's black pepper. onion powder. And those of you who have been watching me cook, know that I only season one side because I'm so heavy handed with seasoning. And I don't want to make it distasteful to anyone by putting too much. The garlic powder. And that's just cooking spray because some is getting in my pan. I don't want it to burn. And cooking spray is zero calories, at least the kind that I have. Parsley, and I was going to use garlic salt, but I am going to put that back. Then I'm going to use the, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. If anybody knows how to actually pronounce it, let me know. Because to me, it's a adobe, adobo, or something like that. And it's without pepper. It's brand new. I've never tasted so we will find out how good it is. Get this paper off first. So I will be using that as my actual seasoning. I'm pretty sure it has some kind of form of salt in it. Okay, my chicken is done, and this is what it looks like. I've already put it in a bowl. So the next step you want to do is have your area ready. And I'm just going to put a little cooking spray because I don't want my crescent rolls to stick. And this roll that I just showed has eight crescent rolls and my chicken breast I had four that I'm going to cut in half which will be eight and I thought about it I'm not going to shred mine up you do not have to shred it up that's your choice I decided I'm not So all you have to do is just watch what I'm doing, pulling them apart. They already come perforated for you to pull apart. And then I'm going to take each chicken breast with my scissors and cut it in half and place. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the other two up while I have them in my hand. And I think if you feel like it might be too thick, then, you know, that way it's easy to still roll. 
kind of cut it up in a couple of strips and stack them on top of each other. So that part can get a little messy as you see. spinach. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. You can add broccoli. Your discretion again. What you would like to do. You can kind of stuff these. This is what, you can stuff this with whatever. A piece of asparagus, cauliflower, bacon. You can add all, I believe they have the jumbo crescent rolls. If you get the jumbo ones, that, you know, the bigger your crescent roll, the more you can stuff in it. But this is all you have to do. And that's the very first crescent roll. And you notice how they're gliding? That's their cooking spray keeping it from sticking. Okay, and I'm going to take you over to the pan. I'm going to do the next four, but I'm going to do them off camera. But I'm going to show you. Just have them in a pan where they can all sit in there comfortably. And I will be back. When I get the next four done, okay. I'm back. I have all eight of them in and ready. With, and they filled with cheese only. Um, before it's done, probably about ten. Well, you know what? No, I'll be right. Okay. I decided to do broccoli. As you can see, it is fresh broccoli. And being that this does not cook very long, neither does broccoli, you could add it now instead of later. That way it's a one dish. It's one dish instead of several dishes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all this in here like I like. Probably not. I like to make it pretty. <laughs> Presentation. Presentation is everything. Because if it don't look good, you can lose a lot of your audience. Because um, I know if it doesn't look good, I'm not going to be tempted. I won't be tempted at all to eat it, to taste it at all. So if you can get me by the look of it, by the presentation, then I'll at least try it. Doesn't always mean it'll taste good, but you'll at least get me to try it. Okay. It's going to fill in a little couple areas with the smaller pieces of the florets. Okay. I couldn't use the whole thing I wanted to. This is all that I have left. Let's see, I can try. See if we can get these pieces in there. Some kind of way. Okay, we just did. We got it. 
over here because this is the last step you need milk your can of cream of mushroom and a cup and a spoon all I do is just mix open up your can and you can use milk or water milk is just going to make it thick more like a gravy texture and I always stir up my cream of mushroom or cream of chicken, cream of celery, cream of broccoli I always stir them up in a can first before I pour them into a cup because it seems like it's just easier to get it creamy before pouring it in your cup uh oh I'm making a mess And then pour your milk into that cup and just stir it up. And you can actually add seasoning in that in, into it if you like, if you don't feel like you had enough seasoning or whatever. Like this would be the time I would probably actually add my spicy, but I didn't add my spicy at all. I just added in after. The, the food is done. Okay, so I'm going to bring you back over here. This is the very last step. And just pour all over the broccoli, all over the dish. You see how thick that is? Could have add more milk if that's too thick. I like thick consistency, so. And that was almond, unsweetened almond milk, 30 calorie. And now it goes in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. I'll be back. Okay, it's done and out of the oven. And if I would have used a square dish or a rectangle, it probably you you would probably be able to actually see the the bread. But right in there, I can see where the bread was trying to peek through. But my dish is really deep, so it's still up underneath the cream of mushroom. But I will be back after I get one out, so you can. See. This is the final piece. It's plated up. And I just cut down the middle so you can be able to see.